Hi there, students. To gape, a verb. Gaping, an adjective. And agape, an adjective and an adverb. Okay, to gape is to open your mouth wide. Especially from surprise or anger or when you're yawning, when it's involuntary. To gape, to stare at in wonder or surprise. The supporters gaped at his incredible skill. They stood with their mouths open, looking in amazement. He gaped at her when she asked him to marry her. So, to gape, to gaze open-mouthed. Yeah, maybe a bit stupidly as well, because you, you're just so surprised and you don't know what to do. OK, we also use it more generally, meaning to open wide, but most normally it's for the mouth. A hole gaped in the ceiling after he fell through it. When I got to the top of the volcano, the crater gaped before me. Okay, so it's big and open. Now we have the adjective gaping, wide open, uh, describing a large opening, particularly the collocation a gaping hole. There are gaping holes in his knowledge. There I've used it metaphorically. There was a gaping hole in the wall. He gaped at, notice to gape at something, he gaped at the gaping hole in the hull of the boat. OK, now a gape. A gape is an adjective or an adverb saying that somebody is in a state of in a state of astonishment as with their mouth open with mouth agape he looked at me he watched me agape dumbstruck wide-eyed and open-mouthed okay so yeah it's this t staring stupidly in amazement you can't believe it or you're so angry. Ah. Yeah. Don't just gape. S do something. Stop. St don't stop standing there gaping and take some action to stop it getting worse. I gaped at the bill with my mouth agape because it was so big. The gaping entrance to a large cave. So, to gape, a regular verb. He gaped at me. He has gaped at me all day. Okay, and then what about formality? I think I'd give to gape and gaping a five in formality. I think it's flexible and you could use it anywhere. You might use to, to amazed, to look at amazed, open-mouthed, dumbstruck. A gape is more formal. I'd probably give it a 6.5 in formality. It sounds literary and, well, it was first used by John Milton in Paradise Lost, written in 1667. So, agape, yeah, surprised, open mouth, but agape is a little bit more formal. And remember, agape always goes after a noun. Yeah, with mouth agape. Yeah, you can't use it with the verb to be, to be agape. It's most normally after your noun. Okay, and then the next question, the origin. Well, in Old English, we had gapen, to gape, and that came from Old Norse, gapa, to gape. So the origin is easy. So, to gape, to stare at open mouth in surprise or anger <sighs> yeah or something that's opened wide so there you go 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To gape. Gaping. Agape.